Hello friends, Tierless Denkins here, bringing you another Dota 2 video on behalf of Tierless Alchemy, in which we're going to be talking about all of the items in Dota 2. The regular items, we did one uh, a video covering the neutral items, now we're going to be talking about the normie items. Surprisingly, I haven't seen this done anywhere, uh, Tierless Elevated. Yeah, uh, you know... I figure at this point, like once we do this, we can do the tier list of the weather effects, tier list of the cosmetics. Like there's there's so much to do with ranking stuff in Dota. And right, uh, yeah. why not start with the items at the very least? Yeah, exactly. So if you guys like this sort of thing, uh, maybe we could even make a tier list of tier lists uh, eventually of whatever our best tier lists are. Uh, and this one's obviously going to go into the S tier. So to, to get into it, uh, let's start with Abyssal Blade. I want to put this item in, in, in S tier. I feel like yes. if there's any item that goes there, it's this one. Every single carry is picking this up in every game that they can. It's basically just a better Scotty. It's basically just a better Sheep Stick. It does so many things all at once. More importantly than that, in my opinion, it's a better Blink Dagger because that's True. the item that it really replaced. Like True. Blink Dagger used to be the most important item for so many heroes. And honestly... There's like maybe four or five heroes that should buy Blink at this point, and the rest of them probably should just get, get an Abyssal Blade. Blade. Right. Abyssal Blade or some Force Staff or some other thing that kind of replaces the Blink. And th this, this took it away for like all of the carries that would get it, basically. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Eon Disc. So I'd say this is a pretty average item. It's solid in the late game, probably closer to the bottom. I would say it's like B minus. Hmm. It, it's it's, yeah. it's like it's not applicable to every single game it's like a late game item on these like pugnas and lashraks and heroes that don't want to get bursted yeah i think that maybe. it's I, i'm gonna put it in b personally i think it's like maybe one buff away from being a really good item i i feel like the like the get out of jail free card just fully nullifies half of the hero pool in terms of like their big team fight ultimates, it's, it's almost like having a buyback to some extent. True, but it can be popped early, and then if it is, then it's kind of like you're almost like Wraith King ultimate. You just don't even want to fight. Yeah, agreed, agreed. Uh, okay, Ether Lens. Uh, I'd probably put hmm. this in the lower tiers. I feel like it's good on certain heroes, but there was a period where this was very broken and what that spell amp <laughs> yeah like so many heroes were getting ether lens but i feel like ether lens is like i said it's it's specific to it's just specific to certain heroes like pugna zeus but this is not in every game you're gonna see an ether lens sort of item i i feel like it's it's pretty unpopular yeah i'll go b minus on this one i feel like it makes certain heroes extremely good like bane or pugna like you mentioned uh zeus but if you want mono regen, you're probably going to look at something like a Yule's instead right, most of the right. time, or like a Bloodstone. So, yeah, I, I think it's it's kind of mediocre at this point. Yeah, okay, agreed. Uh, Drums of Endurance. So How about D tier? <laughs> I would put it a little higher than D. I was thinking like C or B minus, only because all of the other items that are early game items have been nerfed, like the pipes mm, and true. the Crimson Guards. So I do feel like, and then also the, the move speed changes... I do feel like there's a place a for point. drums, but uh, I would agree that about a week ago it was D tier, and I, yeah, I have faith though. It's just like kind of hard to find the time where you want to buy a drums when you could just buy like maybe a bracer into your big item or something like that. Yeah, I I have a very hard time fitting it into a build most of the time. Yep, yeah, agreed. Uh, okay, arcane boots. Uh, I'd say a tier for me. You think it's a tier? Okay. Sure. Yeah. Um, I'm leaning towards I'm leaning towards like B B plus tier. Um, okay. I feel like it's like Ether Lens where it doesn't. You know what? I'll, we'll go A tier because it disassembles into like Lotus Orb and Bloodstone and basically a million items. So yeah, because it the, because of the fact that it disassembles into so many things, I feel like that's just amazing. Yeah, I think like that plus the fact that if we're talking pubs. It fixes most people's biggest problem, which is resource, resource management. management. Right. Um, and then it also turns into what we'll get to later, but in my opinion, is an S tier item, which is Guardian Greaves. And I think that uh, Arcanes, you know, just being part of that puts it in A tier, just True. True. on the buildup. Okay. Uh, Armlet. I would be comfortable putting this one on D tier. Yeah, uh, I, I would feel, agree. I feel like it's very rare that you see an armlet maybe with how people are just fighting so much in this patch it might come back 
as sort of like an early game item, but you know, even on it, heroes that get armlet, traditionally speaking, like CK and Life Stealer, you aren't really seeing people build it. Even I've seen people skip it on Huskar. Right. Yeah. Dude, the prevalence of Spirit Vessel right now is just it's like such a bane to this. Like how do you pick up an armlet when you're playing against a spirit vessel? Yeah. It just completely destroys you. It's it's rough, but if there was a D plus tier, I might put I might put it in there just for <laughs> you know, because I feel like it's probably a bit underrated, but still kind of dog shit. All right, uh Assault Caress. Uh I'm pretty I'm pretty fond of this item right now. I think it's I think it's good. Um I'm I'm expensive. It's expensive. Maybe just because it's so expensive, we'll put it on B plus tier. Just because mm -hmm. it is, uh, you know, a late game item, um, you're never really going to get your, it's not good enough that you're going to get it like first or second item or something, but you always want one of these on your team in the late game. So I think because of those factors, I'd probably put it like high on the list. And I do see people going for this late game now in almost every game. Like it, it solves your tower hitting issues, which is great yeah. because it's a fighting meta and you can pick just people that fight and then the assault cuirass plus like maybe a couple necros and deso or something like that all of a sudden you're shredding towers with a team that normally wouldn't i was just gonna say like i think we're maybe one tower buff away from you almost requiring an assault cuirass just to be able to go high ground or something like that because they keep buffing the tower armor and making them harder and harder to kill so it's, it's super valuable for that yeah yeah agreed uh okay so belt of strength is next it's not a really interesting or important one I'll just shove this in B tier just because it's such a, it's just a standard item, but yeah, we can, we can speed round probably through the, uh, the, the basic ones. items for the yeah. most part, but uh, okay. there are a couple that stand out to me. Yeah. I want to talk about a few, uh, of course, like the region items, for example. Uh, okay. Battle Fury. Um, I'm, pr I'm leaning towards, I, I would put this middle of the pack because I think the buffs to it were great in terms of the fact that like it does so much damage now. Um, mm -hmm. but it's not a farming meta, so maybe ask me two weeks ago. I put this A tier, but I think mm -hmm. now I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna go like B or B minus tier, just for safekeeping. I'll maybe slam it right in the middle. Sure, yeah, I I would go B plus just personally because I feel like, you know, if we're talking pubs, you're not gonna get punished necessarily, and if you can get a battle fury and then just get that next big item quickly, then you have such a huge advantage because there's so little gold on the map. Um, and just the the stats on it are so good on the heroes that buy it. So um, I think it's a good item, but definitely okay. the meta is not trending for it. I'm uh I'm comfortable with B plus. The B tiers are pretty pretty similar to me, honestly. So we'll 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 throw it there. All right, BKB. I think that's a no brainer that that's an S tier item. I'm like, are you serious? Know. Are you serious, I mean, Donnie? Are I you mean, really gonna say in a public video and tell uh... people BKB is not S tier? Do you know the havoc you're about to wreak? Um, Dude, I mean, the thing is, like, it's it's S tier in terms of it being important and you, like, have to buy it. But I also don't think that it's that good of an item. If you look at, like, the stats that it gives you, how much it costs, and how, but it's it, BKB. Like, it's... how it degrades in value over Dude, time. Dude, <laughs> no way. BKB is, like, boots at this point. Okay. It's just a universally, ubiquitously... S tier item. If there's a tier above sure. S, I would probably put BKB in sure. that tier. All right, I'll, I'll, I'm fine. I mean, it's like if you want to win the game, you buy BKB. If yes. you want to have, you know, fun, you probably buy BKB because winning is more fun than whatever shitty That's item true. build you're normally going That's for. That's true. All right, Blade Mill. Uh, I would also say this is currently in S tier. Uh, just so good. S tier, huh? Yeah, I, I think so. Okay. Every single int hero is building a Blade Mill because the stats are so efficient on it with the cost being 2000 gold. And uh, that's even with the nerfs people are people are still buying. It. If there was an S minus in this list, I'd probably put an S minus after the nerfs, after the 2 int nerf. But mm -hmm. that's not big enough to dissuade people from buying this item. It's like the regen items. I just think that blade mail on these int heroes was good before. And people just what? weren't doing it cuz it's weird. What's the uh the armor Six. on it? 6. 6. 6 armor okay. 8 int and I believe it's 28 damage. So yeah, I mean that that's really good. I I'd stats. go for A just because like there's a lot of non int heroes, but it's definitely a very good item. Okay, uh, sure. just just because of the efficiency of the stats. I'm just gonna leave it an S tier only because it's like the flavor of the week item, and sure. I probably agree with you. Maybe it's a little overrated, and maybe there's not that many heroes that should be buying it uh, compared to like what people are. 
But just because it's flavor of the week, and I think people should try it, and that's what all the pros are doing on like every hero, I'm going to leave it in S, just because that's what like the current trend is. Uh, Blade of sure. Alacrity, I'm going to throw the shit in B tier. I mean, it's, just, <laughs> once again, random item. Uh, Blades of Attack, same thing. Random item. Let me know if you disagree. Nah. Random items. Uh, Blightstone, I'm going to put this in B plus tier, because with the... Okay. With a lot of I was the, gonna say we should put all these standard items in like B minus because I feel like on their own they kind of suck ass sure, except yeah. for the ones that are like pretty good. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Uh, I'll say Blightstone's B plus just because like headdress nerfs and Bassy. Well, Bassy hasn't been nerfed, but nerfs on all of the early game items as well as like Orb of Venom is no longer great for harassing. I see a lot more people picking up just like casual Blightstone, uh, then eventually building it into like a very value a value item like a medallion, for example. Mm -hmm. And uh, then, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just it's just trending right now because it's a good starting item because all the other starting items have been nerfed. Yeah. Also, with I, I feel like there's like less and less sources of additional tower damage. I don't know. I, I just feel like towers are harder to take at this point. And so having even just minus two armor is generally pretty value early on in the game when you're trying to get the tier ones down. Agreed. Yeah, agreed. Uh, Blink Dagger. Ooh. I would put this in C tier. I was going to say, like, C or lower, honestly. I feel like this item is one of the biggest baits in the entire game it's, on most heroes. It's fallen off a lot. Uh, even people, or even heroes, like, you can go watch MSS, who's, like, one of the best axe players in the world. He's going for uh, Hood into into Vanguard, into Yule. He's not even going for the Blink. Um, mm -hmm. And the heroes that do need a Blink desperately in a game, you'll see, like, Mars will go, like, Vlad's Pipe, then Blink. You know, it's, right. it's like people try as hard as they can to skip this item unless it's completely necessary because it doesn't give any stats. It doesn't really give you the ability to fight or be tankier. You catch somebody, like, have you ever had some SF go mid and then they go for the Blink Yules build and you just catch them and they die and it's like, uh, that's our 10,000 net worth hero and right. he just fed <laughs> because he's got a bunch of net worth that doesn't give him any stats. That's what Blink Dagger does. It's, it's, yeah. it's a real problem. It's a real problem. Yeah. It's definitely one of the biggest momentum stoppers where you buy it and if you die with it, like if you don't get something massively big done with it, unless you're like maybe an earth shaker where it's just like so core to of your course, hero, of course, yeah. then you literally just lose the game because you do zero more damage and it makes you less tanky or like it doesn't make you any more tanky. It, it does nothing except for fix your positioning mistakes right. for the most part. Right. I mean, there's an argument for putting in like B minus tier just because it's so good on like earth shaker and earth shaker is popular, but I'm going to throw in D tier or C tier just because I feel like people should understand that this item has fallen off. If you played mm -hmm. Dota 2 years ago and you came back, uh, you would be shocked to see how little people are picking up this item. Okay, Bloodstone. Yep. Uh, a tier. A tier. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm just, I just feel like a lot of the heroes that build Bloodstone are not seeing all that much play. Like the Storms and Lashrax, they're, they're like all decent tier heroes and there's a lot of like smaller items that people want to build like with storm you obviously need the kaya and then by that time you might need a bkb you might need a yules it's like but i, sure. I do think I'm the actually item is re b plus for me i okay. think okay sure i'm 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 cool with that i'm cool with that because i do feel like the item it, 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 it like in and of itself is better than it's ever been if you right. just take it in a vacuum but in the, the build-up is kind of bad in in the current meta it's like too slow for a lot of heroes like you you but but like i said it's still it's still a great item. i'm gonna put it in b tier just because i feel like uh if you asked me a week ago i'd, I'd say like b plus or a but maybe, yeah maybe two I, weeks ago i think it's kind of important that we have to we like i don't know there's there's different ways you could look at the items right i'm looking at just like on the raw stats i think bloodstone is amazing like potentially a almost s tier item but like the way that you build it, yes, the Kai is great, but the rest of it is really terrible to build and is very expensive. And then the heroes that it's picked up on are also not very playable, and it's kind of a slow item. So, like, there's so many different factors that can go into I how, wanna, you, I wanna how factor, you rate stuff. I, I want to factor in just, like, everything in the current meta. You know, I want to sure. be as, like, current as possible and just include as many factors as, as we can. Because you're right. If we, if we do this in a vacuum, we look at the stats, well, you know, Iron Branch, for example, would be, would be top tier. Which, right, know, just on a value. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, Bloodthorn. Uh, this item seems to fall off now that it doesn't take the uh, the crit component. It, it, seems, yeah. it seems to be, like, decent. It seems to be about average. It's just the thing you spend your gold on when you have nothing left to buy and you want the most expensive item in the game. <laughs> like, right. <laughs> and even then, a lot of people are, it's getting replaced by Rapier. Like, people aren't going for the Bloodthorn, Nullifier, late game. They're going for just Rapier on, like, a TA or a Terrorblade or something like that. So Yeah, that that is the thing. Is like, 
I, I never really felt great about building a Bloodthorn on most heroes anyway. You know, it, like it was it was really good on Sven there for a little bit and a couple other heroes, but it definitely just doesn't feel wonderful to ever have to build this item. So most uh, of the time you don't. But still, well, I, I want to put a B tier just because the fact that he gives True Strike, that that's always going to be solid, but yeah. not necessarily broken. Van of Elvis skin, of course, that's going to be uh, B minus tier. Bottle. I kind of want to put Bottle at S tier. With how little it costs, with how close the runes are towards the mid lane. I'm down. Uh, I feel like Bottle is in a really good place right now. I, I, I see like Bottles in, in every single game. And just Bottling. bottling how do you like, feel about like, or DD is on insane. fours or off lanes too? Yeah, no, that's think? good. That's great. I, yeah. I, I go for it. I go for it often on heroes that have like some mana issues. If I'm playing some like Void Spirit off lane, I'll, I'll definitely go for a Bottle. Mm. Uh, okay, Bracer. Uh, let's see. It's not as good as it once was. But of the of the three, Bracer, Null Talisman, Bracer's Bracer the best. Bracer's easily the best. the best. Yeah. So we'll go. We'll, how about we go B plus tier, and yep. when we get to the other ones, we'll throw all. We'll throw the other ones in like B tier. Yep. Sounds good to me. Because yeah, no, I, I think Bracer. I think Bracer is good. Like Bracer is the item if you just need a little bit more HP to not get bursted, and that's yep. a lot of games. So definitely a solid item, but not S tier broken. Um, right. Iron, Iron Branch. I mean. Realistically, Maybe. Iron Iron Brand. I don't know. I feel like uh, Iron, like we'll just throw we'll throw in B tier just because like it's just a standard you, item. I don't know. It's hard. You to, can eat trees. That's kind of cool. <laughs> I, I, I want to put an S tier just because I feel like everybody starts with a couple of these. But the just, the plays the block. A, yeah, fuck it, dude. Put it up in S tier. I'm cool with that. Just I mean, no, a a. S tier is reserved for the items that actually win you the game, like all the time. Sure, right. It's just, it's just a, it's a, it's probably the weirdest item so far, just because, like, well, everybody <laughs> starts with one, but is it really broken? Like, would you consider? Where would you put tangos then in that, in that respect? You know. Yeah, I mean, the regen items will be interesting to rank. I, I'm curious to see which regen items you think are the best. Sure. Okay. Uh, broadsword. Uh, we'll put yeah. this one in in B plus tier. It's cheap. Builds into blade mail. I think okay. I think things that build it's from this. It's been reduced a bunch. Yeah, it's in it's, terms of it's, price. it's cheap. Buckler, that's an A tier item in my opinion. I think it's 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 the only item that's like the aura of re, from the aura of regen patch that hasn't gotten nerfed. I believe Bassy got nerfed once. The other items, Jesus Christ, uh, headdress has been nerfed like what three times now. Buckler is unchanged. Right. Two point five armor. That is a lot of armor. It's still very cheap. This is my favorite of the regen items. And uh, Bassy's probably my second favorite, followed by Headdress. So Quote I, unquote region, as it provides no region for you. Yeah, but, but it's like. Yes, it, I, it's a trading item, yeah, is what tra you're trying exactly, to say. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and it builds into Assault Curious and Vlad's, which are both extremely good items. So yep. I'm, I'm down with A. Yep. Uh, Butterfly. Uh, B minus or something like that for me. It, it is very hero specific. This definitely is like the traditional hard carries that build this, like the Terror Blades and Nagas and maybe. But now they're just building those... Satanic for survivability. Yeah, like... but they're going Satanic and Butterflies. The thing usually it, it's like it's like a late game item that you're always going to get. Um, but it's it's not on like the strength late game heroes or the int late game heroes. So I, I'm going to go B tier. I'm just going to put a B tier. Okay chainmail uh not as good as it was before it used to be very good i i would say like it used to be a or b plus tier and i'm leaning towards like b minus now yeah i'm down with that uh clarity a or I s put, i want to put an a or s i want to put an a or s i would go a just because it can get canceled it can get canceled and it also doesn't give you quite enough mana i find like i always need mm -hmm. to send out like three of them to get yeah. like a full mana pool on a hero like Bristle, but they're definitely way better than they were before. I, I, I used to just despise sentries and I would go exclusively for mangoes, but now clarities are much more much more reasonable now that they've reduced the duration and then upped the uh the regen on it. Yeah, I actually don't think that you can play Dota without cl without clarities, in my opinion. Yeah, like I agree. It's just not possible to play the game correctly not, if you're not, not buying not, clarities. You can't play fast. You definitely can't yeah. play fast. Um, okay, uh, what's this called? This is is this the claymore. broadsword? Is this the this the claymore? No, this is the claymore. They both just look like swords to me. Um, <laughs> Maybe B minus. Yeah, I'd say like... B minus. Doesn't really build into too many things that people like. I've I've never seen anybody like. Oh, look at this item. The stats on it are so good. The stats aren't really that great. Um, it's it's not it's not that cheap. 
you know it doesn't build into like broken items other than like some late game items right it's okay okay cloak uh, B? probably B. probably B. pretty average uh really dog shit in the early game of course but great mid game and amazing late game because it's percentage so yep. <laughs> courier that's it's not even an item anymore that's S tier. It's like Omega S tier. There's no better item than the thing that brings yes. you your items, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Especially since it's free now you and everybody have has any them. Of these items without a courier. And it's free. Yeah. How efficient yeah. is that? That's infinity times more efficient <laughs> than anything that has cost. Uh, okay, crown. Also also pretty below average, I would say. You don't see that many people building into into some crown for there's like no casual crowns anymore. I remember there was a patch. I would say like C almost, because like the items that crown is part of are like almost completely like irrelevant eight, right now Atos, uh, uh what's it, uh what's the other one the uh, veil, veil dagon. Which builds dagon yeah those are pretty irrelevant yeah. items yeah you're right you're right um that kind of well it's still like okay efficient uh drums i think is another one it's still okay efficiency it's very okay so i, I i'm very close to putting it in d tier but i'm not quite there yet uh, okay yules yules I am a fan of this item. I believe this item is definitely a lot better with all the nerfs to the other about 2,000 gold items. I feel like Yules is pretty solid. It's like B or B plus tier, but it is really only something you go for on like int heroes or heroes that can do some sort of combo with it like Axe or Lena. So maybe because it's just like a smaller hero pool, even though I do think it's a, like a pretty efficient item now in terms of the cost for what it does. Yeah, I would I would go B plus. I was almost tempted to put a little bit higher just because it does do so much. There's a dispel, it gives you movement speed, mana regeneration, and a setup potentially, and an escape. But also, it was um, better with the old move speed because it gives you true five move speed. So true. It's a but it's a it's a solid item. It's a solid item. Uh, okay, Dagon. Uh, that's like a C or D tier item for me. Uh, you, put it in D. Make Armlet have a little bit of a friend down there. Yeah. Like, I, it's a, Realistically, it's Pugna and Tinker that build this item, and that's basically it's it. like two heroes, yeah. And, and then you're and then you're maxing it out. You know, you're gonna get like a Dagon, a Dagon level twelve. So it's not, <laughs> it's not that. Uh, okay. So uh, Demon Edge, not very efficient. I mean, there is that. I would yeah. say, I would say this this has to go in like C or B. My I'll, I'll put it in C tier honestly because sure. So many people pointed at this item when Crystalis was good and said, "Hey, look." This item costs more and does less damage, straight up less damage. It's like, oh, right. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. And yeah. it's still like that. So yep. not not great. Desolator. This hmm. this item I would put at about average. I feel like yeah. it was it, it's just been nerfed so many times. You still see it in a lot of games. And it often solves a lot of problems. Like you have some hero that can just one hit people if they get a deso. You know, one hit supports like CMs and liches just die to this, and it gives you tower damage. But it's been nerfed. It's been nerfed so many times in a row now that I want to put it like B or B minus tier. But I'm leaning towards B just because you still see it so often. Yeah, it, it's an item that is like absolutely required on a few heroes, and I feel like it's kind of hard to rate anything lower than than B just because of that. Yeah, agreed. Uh, Diffusal. I'm also leaning towards B. Yeah, I'm I'm sort of not sold on this item right now. It's like really good on Ricky and like situationally on some carries, you know, obviously PL is good on, but like it's okay on Jug. It's okay on Slark. It's pretty good on Slark. Uh, it's okay on like Spectre. It's not a great item, even though it's it is very nerfed. efficient for their damage. It's been nerfed quite a bit. So I'm leaning towards like, if we're going to put Deso on B, I think Diffusal gets to go on B, except for yeah. all the, the Agi heroes. All right, Dragonlance. I would put this thing at, at C or D tier. I feel like Dragonlance is pretty garbage. Even heroes that would traditionally build Dragonlance are skipping it. These Lunas. Yeah. Are, you, you just don't see Dragonlance anymore. Ever since the stat nerfs, you need you need something that does more. You need something right. that gives you're you more. Right, you're just going to go Manta like, most of the time when you could go for this right. item. Right, and then instead. after that point, you're building it like Satanics and Butterflies and shit on carry. So like, right. where does a Dragonlance factor in? Unless you really need a Hurricane Pike or you're Enchantress, this item kind of sucks. Dust, yeah. S tier, that's that's a no brainer. Yep, especially since they made it one per purchase. So good. If yeah. you if you are playing against invis heroes and like three heroes in your team don't have dust in your inventory, get new teammates. Yeah, I mean, I, I, you should have everybody should have dust at this point. Uh, yeah, Eagle Song. 
Builds into Ooh. Ethereal Blade, not a great item. Builds into Butterfly, super late game item. Probably I would put this in like B minus tier. Yeah, it's like probably one of the worst in terms of value items that you can yeah. buy you know in what? the game. We'll just we'll put it into C tier then because of that. Because you're right, you're right. These like ultimate orbs and eagle songs, like they are dog shit efficiency. And if all yeah. if all they're giving is stats, then that's how we have to rate them. And then when the items they build into aren't that great, well. I feel like this has to be lower than the items that that they build into. Okay. Yeah. Pl plus, uh, before we go on the next one, I just want to ask you: Would you rate strength as the most important attribute just because of health before everything else at this point? Probably. Yeah. I mean, it, dep it, it depends on the hero. Like for or the hero and for, like role combination. Like if you're an Agi carry, then Agi is pretty important. But for most hero, strength is like for instance, this uh, pupil's gift. I really like to get this on like into Nagi heroes because it yep. gives you, then it gives you strength so i would yep. say yeah i would say yeah based on that logic of course yeah i think so uh, okay mango uh i put this below clarity now i'd say this is b plus tier maybe even b tier with the with the nerfs to it yeah i don't want to go any lower than b plus i do like the hp ridge on, on it like there's a few heroes that i still want to go mass mangoes on but they're definitely much less than there used to be the, the patch where you could just go like nine mangoes and a tango and disruptor yeah, or <laughs> like cool. undying was but that's hilarious. Gone. That's gone. Like right. I think clarity has actually taken precedence as, as king of the, the regen for now. Um, energy booster, uh, put this in probably it's pretty average. It builds into yeah, B minus builds, maybe B, into, B. Yeah. I mean, it builds into good items. It builds into good items, but you never really want to just pick up an it. Nobody picks up like a casual energy booster. You don't just sit with one in your inventory. Raw mana yeah. is just one of the most dog shit stats. It's just so yeah. useless is the problem. Yep. Everybody wants mana regen or like HP. Yep, exactly. <laughs> okay, Ethereal Blade. I think this is a pretty bad item. The the, the changes to it, you don't see that many people pick it. It's like basically Morphling. I'm going to put this in, in C tier just because it's yeah. it's basically more uh, just Morphling. Yeah, I'm 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 down. Like I I almost can't see a reason to buy this item unless you're against like TA plus Ursa plus PA or something yeah, like yeah, that. I don't know. Yeah, it's 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 rough out there. It's like either you stay with a Ghost Scepter or you're Morphling and you build into an Ethereal Blade. Yep. Fairy Fire. It's it's always like, hey, if you have an extra seventy five gold and you can't afford two branches, <laughs> uh, I'll go B tier. I'll say it's pretty pretty average. You're always okay, going as a mid laner. Yeah, I put it up at B plus just because of the outplay potential. Like th that's like the main okay. reason that mid laners always buy is because they're trying to bait the other person into a bad trade and then fairy fire them to death. Sure, but the the other argument is that that kind of really only happens mostly in the mid lane. Sure, it's just like one v one kind of outplaying thing. Uh, salve, I think salve is pretty broken. I feel like you need salves to have burst regen. There is so much fighting that goes on and creep cutting and all of this bullshit where you need fast regen from like 20% HP. I would put this item in a, in a tier. Yeah, I'm down with that. I, I feel like legitimately if you're in the laning stage and you start to get a lead and you have like one more salve than the people that you're laning against, you can just straight up steamroll the game over. based yeah, off of that. Yeah. yeah, agreed. Agreed. Four staff. I can't believe that I'm saying this, but I legit think this item is like B minus or C tier because of the nerfs to it. Like this is the reason that Clockwork is so strong right now. Um, maybe leaning towards B minus just because it's really yeah. the only thing that does what it does that lets you save people like it does. But good God, that cast range reduction really hurts. The heroes that are building it do not want to get close. And that's what you right. have to do now. <laughs> so you're like walking in and suiciding in order to force people away yeah i'm okay with b minus like the cost has been increased the stats are worse uh there are a lot of cast range talents in the game and cast range items but that's true the the, the cast range talents definitely help i really like getting this on some like coddle or something where you mm -hmm. you don't you don't really care about the nerfed cast range right okay uh gauntlet we'll throw that b minus tier some dog shit yep. um gem I would probably lean towards like A or B plus if you're in a pro match. Like the, the I think higher level you are, the better it is. I think it's S tier personally. I think that this is like up there with with uh, BKB when it comes to like I want to end the game now. You just buy That's a gem. That's true. That's true. But definitely this goes down and down the list. Like if this is a herald list, this is down here in D. <laughs> yeah, if this is like it's legend. Just... It's up here in B minus. But like if, right. if we're talking, you know, a maximally efficient. 
uh, Dota match, then yes, it definitely S tier. Gem has been insane for a very long time, especially now that it gives true sight in when you drop vision, it. When you drop it and shows yeah. you where it is, and the enemy team doesn't see where it is. It's it's quite good. Yeah. Ghost Scepter is our next one. I would say this is like probably B or B plus. This to me is a lot of the times replacing what the four staff did for a lot of people. Yeah, I was just gonna say that exactly. It um. It People don't build it's it. It's a great save. Yeah, it's a good save. It's a really great save. Uh, it basically makes you immortal to the carries on the enemy team most of the time as a support, even as like an off laner that maybe doesn't want to die. It's just a it's just a really great item, and the stats are decent. The stats are okay. Yeah, I think one of the best things that people kind of forget is like if you're let's say like an axe or you know one of these tanky frontliners, and then you get counterpicked by some Ursa or Monkey King who's just annihilating you every single team fight, and you buy Ghost Scepter, all of a sudden you can still do your job of being a frontliner. Yeah. Because you have to save for yourself. Yeah, it's a really good item. Uh, Glimmer Cape. I would put this once again, same with Force Staff, B minus tier, was fantastic, was amazing before, uh, forces the enemy team to buy Dust, but the cast range on it is so goddamn garbage. And Dust is so cheap now, everybody's buying mm -hmm. it. So, yeah. Not as good as it once was probably higher tier and lower level games right but yeah. true true yeah yeah exactly i mean that's the thing is, is i guess there's a little bit of, of of a bias there just coming from like how good these items were like these were s tier items you know and now it's like maybe the, maybe right. maybe we're underrating them a little bit but we'll see uh okay gloves of haste i would put this in like probably b plus, b plus tier yeah because yeah. it's just you know what? Actually, I'm gonna put this it's in a. over. It's over buffed in terms of its cost. In my yeah, opinion. I'm gonna put this in a. Like everybody's building a casual gloves to just farm. Like this is the new Midas. You don't yeah. even finish the Midas. You just build the glove. You don't Legit. need a, a a golden glove. You just need a green one. Um, okay, Daedalus. Pretty bad. You don't yeah, see a lot of people building this. Minus ish. I, I I put it in B minus as well. I I think it's just there. There are better late game items. People are getting Scotties and Abyssals and and, and Bloodthorns sometimes, which we ranked a little bit higher. You know, it's it's people were going two Crystalluses instead of going for a Daedalus. Like that <laughs> says something to me. True. Greaves, your favorite, your favorite item. S tier, in my opinion. Mm. It's very expensive, it's but very I just think expensive. It just does so much. Like the armor aura, the hp and, and burst mana the yeah. dispel like if if you're playing if you're trying to end the game i don't know if there's a better like sustain item well, i'm gonna there isn't. i'm gonna go ahead and agree with everything you said but put it in a tier just because i feel like it's really expensive and okay. I, I know a lot of people are opting to build just a mech instead of greaves and then maybe eventually into a greaves but sometimes just sitting with the casual mech like nature's profit like you, you can see puppy does this on nature's where he'll okay. go He'll go like treads into mech. But I agree. Like Greaves is in a really good place though. Midas, this is a dog shit item. This is D, quite, for sure. quite possibly one of the worst items in Dota currently. Dude, I spent about an hour and a half, like two days ago, trying to figure out if there's any hero that should be building Midas in the current patch because it generates gold for free. And I just I couldn't figure out a single hero that got enough benefit from the attack speed and the experience to take advantage of talents and the gold to even make it remotely viable. Like there's just, there's no reason to ever buy this item games, except for maybe on like sniper. I don't even know about that. Games but. end game. No, you yeah. on the heroes that the cooldown reduction, you get a necro necro is the farming right. item. <laughs> like yeah. there are just faster farming items. They yeah. do way more and that are, that are cheaper. It's for the, for, for what it does. It's nuts. This item is is like it needs to be like removed from the game at this point or totally reworked. <laughs> I, I don't know. I do yeah. know. like a passive it's that gives trash. you more gold or something like that. I don't know. Um, okay, headdress. I'd probably still put this in B plus tier just because I feel like yep. it, giving your carry regen is just something that was broken and it's gotten nerfed a lot of times, and people people just are are wise to this now. People just know that realize that this is just really strong. Yeah, I was. I, I really think what happened is like a paradigm shift in how people thought about the laning stage where like the the headdress represented just having more base regen for everybody in that lane. And for the longest time, like as long as Dota's existed competitively, heroes with high base regen are favored for that exact reason. So they can stay in lane longer. So naturally, the item that gives both heroes in the lane the base regen is pretty powerful. Once again, you just do the math on it. And right. it's like, it's too good. <laughs> 
It's yep. way too good. You save so much money building into these regen items. Speaking of regen items, we have a late game one, Heart of Tarask. Mm, not <sighs> kind of mediocre. Greatest. Yeah, I'd say it's I'd say it's below average. I'd say it's 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 like very few T. heroes. Yeah. I, I went with B minus just because I do feel like the regen amplification is something that's underrated. Um, I know Sanj and uh, like Sanj and uh, Yasha, San, uh, Heaven's Halberd gives you the same regen amplification. Halberd's a nuts item. We got that one coming up next. Yeah. But um, yeah, I would say B minus. I would say B minus. It's just not super common. You don't see it on a lot of heroes, but it's it's not bad. Halberd. Yeah. I put this item on S tier. This is this is. I like, agree. This is like the trending item. The stats, it's one of those items that for some reason, it just gets stats out of nowhere. I, I don't know how the fuck, I don't know why, but it does. You combine two items, no recipe, boom, stats out of nowhere. Every Beautiful. item that's like that has to be, and, and for what it does, good lord. The disarm gives you evasion, gives you status resistance, which is the most complained about mechanic in the game. It's... Very There's good. no better anti carry item in the game, in my opinion, at this point. Yeah, it's it's uh people are, that aren't even strength heroes are building this. So mm -hmm. buy Heaven Celebrate if you want to win games. This is this is the item. Yep. Uh, this uh, what the hell is it called? Helm of Iron. Helm of. Yep. B minus. I don't know. Average. Yeah. Seems... I feel like it's a little underrated, maybe, but I maybe, haven't really figured maybe. out. How. I don't know. Normal <laughs> item. Uh, Dominator, probably leaning towards like B plus. Because I do see carries picking this up now. I just played against a faceless void with the Dom, and he owned. Uh, Interesting. It's like a, people are picking it to like farm with it now, like Luna Helm Dom as a carry too. It's, yeah, uh, I it's saw trending. that. It looked pretty mediocre. I mean, it, it does, does give it heroes does. that don't have utility utility because you can get a creep. Um, once again, it's one of those that goes up in value the higher level that you're playing at, probably. Yeah, agreed. Uh, Holy Locket, pretty obvious D tier. This is a dog shit <laughs> item. It's been dog shit since it was added to the game. Uh, God, at this What's point, the point they, this at item? this point, they may as well just remove it. I can't believe they made they made it so that it doesn't amplify regen. That that made it so specific to certain heroes. Like, ooh, Death Prophet, Holy Locket. People tried that for a while, <laughs> then they realized, like, oh wait, why don't I just have like a Yules or build a Mech, which is just a better Holy Locket, or basically right. build any other item in the game that's going to be a thousand times more efficient? Yeah, not good, not good. Hood, I'm going to put this A tier. I Me feel too. Like, I feel like really good item. With pipe getting nerfed too, these like vanguards and hoods are that much better. This is just agreed. Every single item is having increased cost, except for these component items to the increased cost items. And these items have always been efficient in the early game, and now all of a sudden we have this early game fighting meta. Hood is god tier. Honestly, I'm I'm like tempted to even put this S tier. Just Dude, I I I feel like we could start seeing you know like these carries. I don't know like. Carries aren't even carries anymore. Carries are like Leshrax and Dooms Gyros and, and, and stuff like that. And things like that. I wouldn't be surprised to start seeing a lot of like safe lane heroes picking up a hood super early on. Still safe so. I mean, tons of people are doing it yeah. on, on certain heroes. Yeah, I, I think it's nuts. Uh, dry, uh, what the hell is this item? Called? Hurricane Pike. Pretty when bad. you put a bad item plus a bad item and make it more expensive, it's probably a bad yeah, item. I put it right? with I put it at C tier. You don't you don't see many people picking this up. Yeah, uh, Hyperstone. Not super efficient. Not super efficient. Um, no, it's low-key low okay, though. I would say B, maybe. Okay, sure, sure. Yeah, it's 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 definitely like the attack speed item in the late game. You know, it builds yep. into Moonshard. It builds into AC. Uh, Raindrop. I'm going to go with like B+. I feel like Raindrop was underrated for a while there. And uh, it's like a bracer. It can just make it so that you're immortal to certain heroes. Yeah, situationally really, really good. But any item that disappears after use is kind of bad. Yeah, like, true. It, not not bad, bad, but like it just takes the value down. True. I, right, well, I, I still think that raindrop is insanely good, but I would agree. I'll play potential. Uh, you know, we got that effect in there. Uh, okay, Shadow Blade. Silver Edge was just good. It did just get nerfed, and I think the big reason people were picking up Shadow Blade was because of Silver Edge. So I'm gonna put yep. this. I'm gonna put this in like B minus. Yeah, it's a very, very, very situational item. It's being built on like SF and then as like a super late game thing to allow you to blink initiate. So it's like basically an item that allows you to use another item better. Yeah. And other than that, it's like not picked up uh, too much. Uh, it's like a 1v5 kind of 
pub build item that is just countered by everything at this point. Yep. Once again, dust being really cheap makes Shadow Blade a lot shittier. Javelin. I'm going to put this thing in like C tier. I, I, the nerf really hurt it. I, I hmm. rarely see people picking up Maelstrom and Monkey King Bar these days. Yeah. Even Ember is like going Blade Mail if he wants damage or Vessel. Like it, Javelin is just not what it was. It was so broken though. It was so. insanely broken. Yeah. <laughs> now it's it's not too good. And then the the item that it builds into mainly Maelstrom got nerfed as well. And Monkey King Bar people just go for a rapier in the, in the late game, which gives <laughs> right. you true strike. Like there's lots of true strike uh, options available now. So not yeah. so good. Uh, Sanjin Yasha. Uh, oh, okay. I dragged. I think high. it's underrated. I I would say this is like probably B or B plus tier, just because the Sanjin Yasha plus. Satanic gives you like a billion uh, status resistance. I, I think that's just still insanely strong. Like, I'm, I'm going to put a B plus tier. Yeah, I think that one is actually the Sanj and Kaya. It looks like this item icon is old, but. Is it? Oh, okay. GG. Yeah, just looking at the swords. But yeah, th that's supposed to be the, the color of Sanj and Yasha, and that's definitely a B plus item, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, Kaya, not too good. Not too good. You don't see, unless I'm not thinking of certain heroes you really don't see people building kaya it feels like storm get, zeus tinker that's it yeah exactly Lesh, maybe to get to get not tankier and not really you're not really getting much for the stats it's like a late game item and like a fighting meta yeah basically any raw damage item right now is kind of bad in my opinion it's a lot about auras and just run at you items um okay yeah. speaking of which crystalis is a decent run at you item it's still pretty efficient i still see people building this occasionally on you know your embers your your void spirits i'm gonna put this in like b. probably b or b plus tier uh leaning towards b just because it got nerfed i i know it fell off yeah b sounds good to me uh morbid mask i'm a pretty big fan of this item i feel like a casual morbid mask on a lot of carries is great uh builds into mask of madness which is really good builds into satanic which is fantastic i'm gonna go with b plus yeah i'm down with that okay lotus orb a tier, in my opinion. Good item, good, very good item. Yeah, one of the one of the better items. It did just get its mana cost increase, but I don't think that really matters. It gives you so much regen, and uh, in mana, you... I'm just a huge fan of anything that gives you armor right now. When when it's like a utility item that also makes you hard to kill, I think there's a ton of value Some in that. Some hero is going to get this on your team, like third item in most games. I find. Yeah, dispel is pretty rare in Dota, and so if an item has a dispel, extremely yep. good maelstrom got nerfed a lot uh i would put this at b minus tier it is does not give you faster farm efficiency than a necro book um it does scale better than a necro book but there's also battle fury which scales way better than a maelstrom does because maelstrom just scales with attack speed that's literally it so you don't yep. see that many people picking up a maelstrom anymore uh even yeah, it's interesting. Are going like straight eggs rush instead of maelstrom eggs yeah, I, I wonder if it's just like kind of a trend that'll change because it still seems pretty good on paper, but it definitely just doesn't get picked up. You always see Battle yeah. Fury on, on melee heroes over this. Yep. Uh, is this a stick? Is that what that's called? Stick. A little one? Stick. S tier. Yep. I feel like that's a given. Everybody yep. should have a stick. Uh, yep. At like five minutes. Especially in a fighting meta. Yep. <laughs> this is like literally the most valuable item you can have in a fighting meta pretty much. Full wand. We'll just put this in A tier because I feel like we had so much, so many people going for the full wand in the laning stage when it they, stop it <laughs> when they didn't need to do that. We'll put it in A. It, it's probably S tier, but we'll put yeah. it in A tier just for the memes. Uh, yep. Because, but you should have a you honestly you should have a wand these days. At a certain yep. point, you should have a wand because it's just so much regen in a fighting meta. Yep. Uh, Manta style, it gets picked up a decent amount. It's a dispel. It's good for split pushing. Um, it's really good for like running your illusions into waves and then showing up to your team to fight. It's good for dodging shit. I'm gonna go B. I'd probably put B plus. Yeah, I was just gonna say B plus sounds about right. Uh, mantle once again, we'll just throw that in B minus. That doesn't really matter. Uh, Mask of Madness A tier. I love this item. I love this yeah. item. I'm, Great uh, farming item on on heroes that don't want to build a maelstrom yep. or a battle fury. Lets sometimes. you fight though. Lets you fight too, which is cool. And then it builds into. Butterfly and Satanic, and Satanic is like the broken item, uh, but you can also build into like a Bloodthorn in a Satanic, which is great. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of stuff that you can build with this with this great item. So there was actually a cool build that I saw for a while that was uh, Mask of Madness into Echo Saber Satanic on like huh. Sven. Hmm. 
That's interesting. Yeah, I thought that that was really cool. That is cool. Yeah, that is interesting. I've never seen that, but that sounds good. Medallion. Even with the nerfs, I'm going to put this thing at... Well, actually, I'll say B, B tier. Plus? I'll say B plus tier. B? Yeah, I'll say B plus tier. Okay. Because I don't want to put it on the same level as, like the mask of madness because when i think about like how often do i get a medallion really? right it's like i'm never gonna look at a medallion and be like that's a shitty item but there are games there isn't a medallion in the game so yeah. but still it's just it's just a great item and speaking of great if you items, don't if you don't have rush potential a medallion is necessary true for sure yeah true uh mechanism i would put this in a tier currently it has been over buffed it is cheap all of the other items have been nerfed a lot uh, i believe they did just increase the cost on it a little bit but I still think Mech is just one of the best fighting early game items. You're, if you have like an into offlaner like Nature's Prophet, they should go for this every single time. Yeah, sustain is so underrated by most players. Yep. Meteor Hammer. Uh, not so great. Not so great. I feel like it's certain heroes. Meme tier? It. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like Nyx Assassin. I would honestly say this is like a C tier item. Yeah. Or, or D, or D potentially, not. because it's very slow. It like doesn't do anything for you, basically. Yeah, it's not that great. All the A lot of the heroes that pick it up are not picked either. Yeah. Okay, that uh, hammer thing that builds into BKB. I don't know. I'm going to throw that hammer. out like <laughs> B minus. Yeah, it seems <laughs> it builds into good stuff, but you're never like, ooh, I got my Mithra hammer, guys. Let's go. All right. Ready to go. Uh, speaking of hammers, Mjolnir, I think this is better than Maelstrom. Item. Yeah, this is like a good late game attack speed item. It's uh, it's it's a good late gamer, but it's, you know, like a fifth item sort of thing, yeah. usually. Monkey King Bar, I'd say that's about the same. You know, I'll put Monkey King Bar in B- minus tier, just to kind of tip my fedora a bit to the fact that Rapier has replaced it yes, in a lot of games. Definitely. So just because of that, we'll just say B-, minus. But you're probably a good item, buddy. Don't worry about it. It's just that your competitor is really good. Yep, exactly. Moon shard, probably an underrated item for damage. I would say B plus tier. Yeah, I agree. I kind of, and it, I'm looking at some of these items as we're going through. I'm like, man, I really want to figure out how to fit that into a build. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I guess that's the thing is fitting it into a build can kind of be weird because a lot of these other items, they give you stats, but then they also let you do something. You can like purge right. somebody or you can dispel. Um, whereas Moonshroud is just like, yeah, we give you a shitload of stats, but oh yeah, and night vision. But uh, I still think, yeah, I still think it's like an underrated item. It's just so good for the for the cost. Yeah, you kind of have to just think like, okay, this item needs to go on a hero that basically has good stats already, probably has a gap close, maybe has a stun. So there's a lot of categories that you have to fill before you can think about buying a Moonshard on, right, on right. a hero. Mystic Staff, uh, I'm gonna go B minus. Or honestly, yeah. even C. I feel like it's just yeah, pretty a, mad. It's a dog shit item. It's it's it, once again, it's like this eagle song stats for cost, not good. Nullifier. Yep. More people are building this right now. I'm gonna throw it right in the middle, B tier. Okay. Um, the fact that it no longer makes it so that your items work, uh, that 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 was pretty nice before that it did that. That was pretty cool. Or that make make it so that they don't work. Um, but, yeah, it's it's probably underrated, but, but it's then probably, again, yeah, people it's aren't really. Underrated. People aren't really building like four staff and glimmer anyway, which are dispellable by it now. So I don't know. It's it's hard to say. So I'm throwing the middle. Not entirely sure. I'd put that in question mark tier. I need to see. <laughs> Nobody nobody's really built been building it. Uh Null Talisman, we said we would just throw that below Bracer. Uh Oblivion Staff. Not so good. Not so good. It's it's probably B minus tier. You don't see people picking up like a casual Oblivion staff. People don't go orchids anymore too much. People don't go for Echo Savers. Echo, yeah. Yeah, not that good. Octarine Core. Also, Pretty bad. Also B minus. Honestly, I'd put this in, in C tier. Like, heroes that can get this just build into, like, if, if you want it for an ultimate, you just go Refresher. Uh, exactly. Or you go some Shivas or AC. Like, there's a lot better late game options. This has been bad since they removed a lot of the stats from it. Yep. Ogre Club. I want to put this pretty high. I want to say just B plus because yeah. whenever you're building into like a BKB or an Agatum Scepter or something, you always build the Ogre Club as one of the first components to that because it's just so nice to have raw strength. You know? Yeah, dude. Extra stats, extra health is so nice. I, I love it. Like when you're building treads or something like that and you need like a little bit of extra health in the lane, just getting the belt of, the belt of giant strength is nice too. Like yeah. it's, it's really good. Orchid, not so good. 4,000 something gold item that you can dispel, but also it's quite efficient stats for the cost, I would say. And you can kill supports with it. I would really put this one just right in the middle. 
I, yeah. I feel like it's been there for a long time and it still is. It's just not so good, not so not so bad. I'd say it, it's like literally an S tier item if you get it at a super early timing, but it's very hard to get this item before people have dispels for it. So yeah, yeah. I think B tier is probably yeah. good. Perseverance or perseverance as a lot of people say. B minus, not that great. Nobody says that. Not that people say that. Uh, idiots say that jenkins i'm friends with a lot of idiots sorry for this. Uh, okay yeah b minus not that good it's it's just one of these like big items costs a lot of money stats aren't that great yep doesn't doesn't, phase. doesn't do much phase boots probably a tier i'm leaning towards b plus just because i feel like it's dog shit on ranged heroes and that's like half the heroes in the game mm, that's fair that's fair but yeah good on very good on melee heroes pipe I'm going to put this still in A tier, even with the nerfs. I feel like just because the fighting is maybe B+, plus, but just because fighting is, is so prevalent right now, and pipe is mm -hmm. like, you need a pipe in the game, in, in, mo in most yeah. of these games. That's the thing, is it's so expensive now. Like I, You can literally feel how hard it is to get a pipe at the right, right time now, but if you don't have a pipe, it's almost impossible to win the game. Yeah, maybe we'll put a B plus tier, just because maybe you should just hold the hood for a while now, and then go for the pipe a little bit later. Sure. And get a couple of bracers on your other guys. Uh, yeah. Plate mail. I'm going to put this in B plus tier. I've always been a huge fan of just getting a casual plate mail. Even going for Me like, too. if you're going to build into like Shiva's guard plus an AC, you just go plate mail, plate mail, and you become immortal. I think plate mail is just a, a really nice cost for stat item. Uh, armor. Ever since they changed the armor calculation where less armor equaled more uh, physical damage reduction. This yeah. item has been insane because it has. It's the only one that has. Been, everything else has been nerfed in terms of yep. armor. White booster. I'm also gonna put this one pretty high. I would say like I'd say B maybe. I would. I'm gonna go B plus just because once again I feel like if you're gonna build into into any like an of, ags or yeah it, it's like gonna be the first thing that you buy if you go for like a bloodstone you're gonna build you get a point booster first arguably mm -hmm. vitality booster arguably you know you can make the argument there I would put them both on the same tier. Treads, sure. S tier. Ever since they reduced the cost on Gloves of Haste um, and gave Treads its stats back, its high stats back, this item has been fucking crazy. Everybody's getting Treads right now. Yeah, I, I would go A, just because I don't feel like it's as broken as some of these other items. It's definitely really good, but I, I definitely don't think it's at a level like some of the other S tier items. I mean, we're going to put maybe one or two more items up there in the S tier maybe three i just don't think treads is on that level okay well i'm gonna stick to my guns on that one i'm gonna say just like just because so many people are building it maybe it's a bit overrated compared to these other items but just because so many people are building it uh, okay quarter staff i also just trash. Feel like this is not that great trash yeah, tier it's, item it's it's it, it builds into good stuff that's all so we'll just yeah. put in b minus because of that uh quilling blade Kind of mediocre, actually. I would say not. People aren't going Quelling Blade every game now. It's like uh, Orb of Venom start is a thing now, and just playing with yeah. playing to get CS with spells just, and things like that. And yeah, or just be good at last hitting. <laughs> like yeah, it's not yeah. it's not that hard. I, obviously, it's harder to last it against people without a Quelling Blade, but it's not that hard we'll if you just it, creep aggro stuff away. We'll put a B tier. We'll put a B tier and say it depends on the lane matchup. I think it really sure. it really does. Um, okay, Radiance. I think this item was a lot better a few weeks ago. It, it really does depend on the hero. It depends, you know, there's, if there's yeah. an alchemist in the game. I would I would say, like, honestly, okay, we'll, we'll, I'm going to put Radiance at B- minus because I feel like every hero but alchemist shouldn't build a Radiance because it's too slow for the current patch. Yeah, definitely in the current patch, it's very hard to get a Radiance and come online. Like, I actually think Spectre is impossible to play right now. Pretty damn hard. Pretty damn hard. Uh, okay, Rapier. This is an S tier item. Yeah. Oh my god. I mean, it is, but the 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 risk. I'm gonna factor the risk in and say A tier because, like, yes, I it's an S tier item. I can't do it. But it's just uh, you never know what the hell's gonna happen in a late game Dota match anymore because this item is so broken. I can't. I can't bear it's to so put good. this thing not in S tier just because of what it's done to the game. And I'm grateful. I love watching these late game Dota matches. It's awesome. But it is risky. It's always been risky, but it's a little less risky now. You know, if Gem's up there, Rapier can be up there. Sure. I, I'm okay with that. Sure. 
Uh, Reaver builds from Satanic uh, gives you the best stat. So I think I'd say B. Uh, yeah, I think if we're gonna put the other stat items in B minus, and this is the best stat as we talked about, this goes in B. Refresher Orb. Not picked up too much, honestly, but it's it's a really great late game item for like I'd seventh, say like seventh item. B just because there's a shard that kind of replaces it. Yeah, it's like it's like potentially like an S tier item, but there is something else that replaces it, and it's hard to fit into a build. That's true. reliably, and you don't really necessarily have the slots for it on a lot of heroes. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go B minus because of that. Okay. Sacred relic. Pretty good. Mm. But it doesn't build into a lot of good stuff. Doesn't build into a lot of good stuff now, other than like rapier. We'll put we'll go B B minus just because sure. it's it's just a random one of these random items. Uh, Basilius, this is up there with Buckler. This is a, very good. Yeah, this is like the new regen item people are building in the lanes and just building a bunch of tangos and then using mana. You can trade, yep. you know, you can trade mana for HP HP for mana as long as you're using your damn spells. Ring of Health. Pretty solid. A tier. Pretty solid, yeah. Pretty pretty good item. Uh, builds into, like, Vanguard. Builds, in, builds into Hood. We already talked about how broken uh, Hood is. And, uh, you know, S tier and Vanguard. When we get to that, we'll see where that goes. But Yeah, good item. Good item. Uh, Ring of Protection, also an item that people are favoring right now. I would put this in, like, probably... B plus? A, a? a tier. B, maybe we'll put it in B plus tier just because it's kind of boring compared to a lot of these other A tier. Like, I don't get the really... Wow, I don't get the wow factor... I don't right, it's it one of those that you like. You don't even really realize that the hero has it, but like they just don't die when they're supposed they just, to. Yeah, because they of just yeah, they tank here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Ring of Regen. People are still going for this every game. Uh, I'm gonna put in B plus uh, B tier. Sorry, because I feel like it's overrated. I agree. I, I definitely think the regen on it is kind of low at this point, and I prefer to just have like an extra salve instead. Feel the same about Ring of Trask. I think it's a bit yep. overrated. Uh, I still think it's good. Put it in B tier, but. I'd probably say Ring of Regen is like B tier. Ring of Trask is B minus tier. I was going to say, I like, I almost never buy this item. Maybe that's a mistake on my part, but I just, I can't really figure out why I would want this over just like extra regen in the lane or, or Ring of Health for the, that matter. The, the nerfs have just hurt these items hard. That, that That's just, that's just the bottom line. It's just nerfs. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Robo the Magi. Yeah. Robo the Magi, uh, B minus tier, random item. Atos, yep. this is a pretty garbage item. Really, I kind of like it because it's a low commitment initiation spell. I don't see anybody building an Atos. I feel like it's just like Underlord or one. It's like a one in eight game sort of thing that you really see. It's it. kind of slow. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in C tier just because it's not a common it's not a common thing. And we're getting so big here on this list that I have to scroll down <laughs> to actually drag the items. Up. <laughs> Uh, okay, Perfect. Um, this is Sanj and Kaya, I believe, or is this uh, Yasha and Kaya and Yasha? I don't know. This is actually the Sanj and Yasha icon, That's but so I believe stupid. it's the That's purple so one is is Sanj and Kaya. Okay, but this is the Kaya and Kaya and uh, what, what Kaya Sanj, Kaya Sanj. So this okay. is like the strength plus magic amp. B minus. Nobody builds that. Honestly, yeah. well, I'm gonna put it C tier. Nobody builds this shit. Nobody builds this shit ever. But it's better than Yasha Kaya, probably. Probably, yeah. Uh, Sanj, that goes in A tier. I think I think it's a it's a it you know builds into Heaven's Hobbard, which is a broken item. Um, builds into Sanj and Yasha, which is a great item. And uh, yep. I mean, it's just it's just the halberd. It's just the halberd factor. It's it's really good. Satanic. Yep. This is what every late game hero is going. I would put this in S tier. Ever since they gave it a ton of raw damage, it's just been too good of an item in my opinion. Yeah, and the, I mean the status resist goes without saying. Yep. Okay, the invis component to Glimmer Cave. I don't even know what the hell this thing is called. Shadow <laughs> Amulet, the Chappie <laughs> item. Yeah, not not. Put good. it in C tier for Chappie. Not good. That? Yeah, C for Chappie. <laughs> Sheepstick. Surprisingly, not very good. It's uh probably a bit underrated. I'm gonna go B minus. I feel like it's mm -hmm. just a shittier abyssal in a lot of cases. Yeah, I would go B, but it definitely is like you'd almost prefer somebody to build a BKB just so you can abyssal blimp. And, and waste it right true true and also there's neutral items that do what the what this item does right uh, prince's sheep. knife yeah so you can just grab a prince's Disgusting. knife or something like that and lots of stats and new agonim scepters and things like that uh shiva's guard not a great item you don't see a lot of people picking this up it's good against like illusion heroes the aura is pretty decent but i would say it does give you a lot of armor it does give you a lot of armor um from, i would almost always rather have a lotus though yeah, like, that's true. Pretty much every single game, that's I'd rather true. have a. Lotus. I'm gonna put it B minus because I do feel like it's a little underrated, but not by that much. Mm -hmm. 
Silver Edge, Silver Edge. just got nerfed heavily. I'm gonna put this at B minus because I felt I feel yeah. like it was it was pretty goddamn good before it was S tier and it maybe, was amazing and now it's just mediocre it's again. Pretty mediocre, yeah. Uh, Scotty, A tier. Uh, I'm gonna put it in B plus tier. I feel like people are over hyping what this item does. Yeah. Like it still gives kind of shitty stats. You don't really see people building it. Once again, wouldn't you rather like an Abyssal Blade or something like that? Then it's right. a lot of the time. It does the same thing. And you want to kill some guy through BKB. It's like, all right, why aren't you bashing them? Right. Plus, you're, you're going to have a vessel anyway. So it's like, very yes, rarely yes. are you not going to have a vessel on your team. And uh, the buildup for Scotty is like one of the worst out of all the items in the game. Yeah, definitely. Not great stats. All right. These agility boots things, B minus, uh, Smoke of Deceit. Definitely S tier. Come on. S tier. Come on. -tier, this is for sure. And if you want to say, oh, people in my bracket don't smoke, buy them all out and smoke to ward or smoke to get kills. You individually use can yourself. use smokes. It gives you invis. It's crazy. It's a, it's a free shadow. Well, not free, but it's an 80 gold shadow blade, guys. Yeah, like this is legitimately, I would say top three items in the entire game. There's a reason they have a limited stock. Yeah. Okay, Sage's Mask. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. B plus? Yeah, probably B plus. Uh they build into decent stuff, but I love having a casual one in the lane. Yeah, but you're not gonna build like six of these or something. I think it's nah. I think it's uh nothing to nothing to write home about, but good. Solar Crest, I think this is also something nothing to really write home about, but but quite good. Uh whenever you build something with an ultimate orb, you always have to be careful just because ultimate orb is like one of the least efficient items in the game. In terms right. of stats for cost, but is it better than medallion though? I uh, I feel like it's it's either A or B plus with medallion. Yeah, one I would two. say I would put it with medallion. I think medallion it costs so little and mm -hmm. builds from like blightstone, which is a fantastic item. Uh, right, and you know it's just it's just good. It's just good. That's all. Yep. This uh, thing, soul, that, booster. soul booster, one of the worst <laughs> items in the game. <laughs> Pretty garbage. Pretty garbage. Builds into shit. I'm honestly gonna throw this in D tier. Yeah, I'm down. It builds into two bad items. Two pretty bad items. Uh, Lincoln's. Lincoln's Sphere. Also I think it's underrated. Okay, all right. I'm going to say if we're ranking this based on what the pros think, this is C tier. Mm -hmm. People just get Lotuses and Satanics. Honestly, because of Status Resist. That's the fucking problem here. Status yeah. Resist makes this thing not do its job. You don't need to dodge spells when every spell cast on you does 50% as much and you have True. infinite regen. It's true. C tier, man. Vessel. Throw this guy up here. It is a bit expensive. So Would good, maybe, though. Yeah, it's, but it's so good. It's so good. Everybody's getting a vessel right now. The The aura on this is nuts. The aura, and just, like, I think you made a really good point when we were talking about this item, like, in the patch notes video. It's just the item that allows you to finish off kills that you otherwise wouldn't, and that is so valuable. Yep. In, like, these mid-game team fights. Agreed, big boy. Uh, all right, uh, this staff thing. Staff of wizardry. <laughs> bad. I don't know what the small items are. Who cares? Stout shield. Yo, that's S tier, dog. <laughs> that's S tier for sure. Triple S tier. <laughs> triple, triple X. Uh, tango. Okay, I'm going to put Tango. I'm honestly going to put Tango below. No way, dog. Dude, being able to eat through trees, like create mm. juke paths, be able to pull because of tangos tango is is a or s tier for sure okay we'll put it in a tier i mean it's just a region item it's just a boring region item everybody starts with one if branch is a, it to me it's equivalent to branch so we'll throw it in a, in, in a tier the tome that's s tier hell yeah dude <laughs> that one goes in there uh tp of course these are s tier you honestly there should be a, a tier above s for tp yeah tp in. and boots of travel in my opinion both deserve to be above everything else in the game. I think those those are the two best items in the game, and then it's probably Smoke of Deceit and then everything else. I disagree with bots. I disagree with bots. But I would say regular boots and TP go in their own tier. They're almost not even worth ranking. Of course you need these. Okay, we get the Boots of Travel next, so we can argue about this one. I don't Perfect. like the new bots. I feel like they're garbage other than for the move speed. Like It's really good on, on heroes for move speed, but that's it. So the reason that I'm saying that bots is S tier is just that it's a TP. But I guess at the same time, it's a TP that takes up a slot, which is not good. Yeah, and also it's very expensive uh, for no yeah. stats other than move speed. I'm going to put this in like B+. I'm okay with it. Yeah, I'm actually okay with it being... Uh, yeah, I, 
I would say A personally. I, okay. I still think they're really good. I understand your hate for them because you're a Tinker player. So I'll give you that. Well, okay, whatever, dude. I feel like they were broken. And tinker players before. over here. They were, they were so good like two patches ago. And now they're. Pew, de- pew, 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 it pew. The- Sorry. It's okay. PTSD. Yeah, my bad. It's fine. I understand. Uh, my Tinker is just so strong. Uh, okay, <laughs> let's go down and Ultimate Orb. There's a garbage item. Complete dog shit. It is just so expensive for yep. terrible stats. Um, Aghanim Scepter. S tier. This depends on the hero. Yeah, this depends on the hero. I, I kind of want to just throw this in B because... I mean, Average it out. <laughs> yeah, if, if you're applying some... I mean, I would say most Ags upgrades are pretty good, though, so maybe we'll go B+. But it depends on the... Okay. It depends so much on the hero. You can, almost can't even rank that item. This is true. Earn, uh, probably S tier. Probably S tier. Um, I would say A. I, I, like, I think it's good, but I don't think it's... I think it's like many magnitudes worse than Spear Vessel, just when we're looking at like the release component of it. Sure. I don't think it heals that much, actually. Sure. It, doesn't, like... it doesn't. It used to do more. Yeah. So, yeah, sure. I agree with that. I agree with that. Uh, Vanguard. I love this item. I think this is an S tier item. Really? It, dude, it is. It, have you? I, know, I understand you're not an offline player, okay? But it builds from just a Vitality Booster and a Ring of Hope. True. True. That's it. Just those two items. Like, it's crazy what this does for... Like, to me, this is the new early game item to build. It's like this so, and hood, and you're super tanky. Yeah, let me ask you a question. So, like, maybe four years ago or something like that, every carry built a Vanguard first. It was like Jug built Vanguard, Anti-Mage built Vanguard, Spectre built Vanguard, PA built Vanguard, and then they would build their farming and fighting items. Do you think that we're headed back towards that? Because like most of the changes in Dota have actually kind of reverted us back to like three, four years ago. Sure. I mean, if they if there are other heroes on your team that deal damage, that sounds pretty good. Mm. Just to have like a tanky carry that like can't die, and it's like okay, yeah. we need to kill this guy, but he can't die. So how the hell do we do it? And everybody builds into an eventual abyssal. So yeah, that sounds pretty pretty solid, pretty okay. Um, not a carry player though. So all right, uh, Veil of Discord. I think this is a bad item. I think it costs a lot of money. Uh, builds from a bassy, which is cool. Yeah, I put it in C tier. It like doesn't counteract pipe at all. No, no, <laughs> you no. Know. It's just it, the the spell damage amp got nerfed on it, but now it amps spell damage instead of magic damage, which means it's better for pure damage heroes, but worse for magic damage heroes. And right. a lot of pure damage heroes don't need any extra help building or doing more damage. Um, nor do they really want to build into. The only hero that I can really think that it might be viable on is like some sort of queen of pain but even on her it's like they kind of wish you had a yules or like a blade mail or some of these other right. items for the same cost at the time basically you get this. anything else yeah. yeah it's just a damage item and the stats on it are complete horseshit compared to like a blade mail for example so i want to put this in c tier but i don't think it's as bad as these dt i would never put it on the same tier as like a holy locket or a dagon god <laughs> sure. come on uh, vitality booster we already kind of talked about this i would put this on the same tier as, as um, the point booster, the point booster, yeah, it's it's pretty yeah. it's pretty solid. It's a good item if you are building into something from it. Uh, Vlad's, yep. uh, I'm gonna put Vlad's into. Honestly, it's falling. I off. feel like this is like one of the most overrated items in the yeah, entire game. Yeah, it, it's it is it is falling off. All the components to it are getting nerfed. Maybe we'll go B plus tier, just because of the the nerfs to it have have mounted at this point. And as an offliner, I can say I definitely. And straying away from this item, and that's who was building it was offlaners. So, yeah, like the life steal is still so good for your team, but everything else about that's it is almost less, completely it's useless. Way less life steal than before. That's the problem. Yeah. So it's like it costs more and is just does less. Uh, okay, void stone. Pretty good. Pretty solid. Builds into good stuff. Builds into some good stuff. Um, I'm gonna probably just. It's like B or B plus tier. I'm gonna put in B tier I'll... just because it's kind of boring. Like, yeah, I like having a casual one if I'm building like a Battle of Fury yeah, or Aether Lens or something like Yules, that. Yeah, it's 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 it yeah. is nice. It is one of the it is nice to have a casual one of, but I'd say like that's very similar to a Ring of Regen. Like Ring of Regen is right. nice to have a casual one of if you're building into something with it. Right. Ward, I mean, of course this is S tier. Of course. Yeah. They're free for God's sakes. <laughs> yeah, this actually might be up there, maybe even above TP like at boots, this point. Boots and TP, <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. Windlace. Uh, not as good as Reasonable. it was before. Not as good. As, I'm, I'm going to put it B, A tier just because with the boots change not being percentage. You get I would actually less... go B. Okay. All right. Uh, just, be, 
because like that percentage difference, it used to be windlace plus brown boots equaled tranquil boot movement speed, and now it's definitely not that at all. Yeah, definitely. Uh, okay, we'll I'll we'll go between and we'll go B plus because I still think windlace is really good, but one issue with it right now is the slot starve issue because you want a lot of items in the early game because everybody's fighting, and sometimes it's kind of like can you fit a windlace into that? Sometimes you can't. Yeah. Wraith band. Uh, we already talked about this. I believe we said we were gonna put those into like uh, what? below bracer. Below bracer. Where the hell's bracer at? Okay, so we'll go. We'll go B tier. Wraith bands are okay. You know, pretty efficient. Uh, then we have Yashikaya, Yashikaya which is pretty goddamn bad. No D tier, maybe. <laughs> never, What's... never. See just any build a bloodthorn, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I just I never see any heroes building this. It was like OD and Lashrak, but they don't even build that shit anymore. Yasha, pretty solid. Probably yeah. B or B plus. B plus. Because I'd say B every, plus. lots of carries like casually build this. Uh Crimson Guard, I would put this in probably B plus. I would say A plus or A tier last patch, but it's just been so nerfed mm. that it's expensive. But still a great item in the late game against like PLs and things like that. Yep. Necrobook. A tier. I know you're Okay, I thought you were gonna put an S, and I was gonna be like Jenkins. You're so biased with this item, but no, no I I agree. A tier. It's definitely definitely good. But it's good. It's great. It it has fallen off though. Is the is the problem? Soul Ring. I think this is an overrated item. I think this yes. item. I think this item sucked before they nerfed it. It costs <laughs> it's you pre pretty bad. It costs you so much HP, and now it's super expensive. I'm gonna go C tier. I don't think it's as bad as like a Holy Locket because it's not a huge investment. It's not like you're like, oh my guy built a Soul Ring, we lost. But it is kind yeah. of like. I kind buy of, clarities, man. I wish you had a bottle or clarities or mana boots or basically any other form of regen. I think this is like the worst one, unless you're bristleback. Yep. And even then, people are going bottle bristle. People were going bottle bristle before Soul Ring was nerfed. All right, tranquil boots. Good on every. I would almost five. say, I would say almost S tier because I'm gonna put an A tier because I th I would yeah. say it's similar to arcane boots in the in the sense that it's like in every game soul thing. value. It's an every game thing for pause fives. And yep. a lot of pause fours. Like if you're playing tiny pause four and you don't go tranquils, it's it's over. You know. Yeah. It's like th this item just makes you so fast. Plus a wind lace, but it's basically exclusively a support item now. Tranquil yep. boots. Unless you're eternal envy, then geez, what the fuck can you say about that guy? <laughs> I mean, it's all up in the air with him. Whatever you want. I mean, his tier list is is just take ours, scramble it up randomly. Yes. Throw yes. it on a wall. Okay. Well, I'm gonna zoom out just to get the whole tier list and shot here. Uh, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. That is our item tier list of the normal items. It took an hour and twelve minutes. Uh, we are trying to. <laughs> we well, are aiming 20. for twenty. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna have to uh, definitely. I'm gonna throw that in the title. I'm gonna. It's gonna be. We ranked every item in Dota. It took a long time. <laughs> Something like that. I see that with Minecraft videos. So I'm stealing that from the Minecraft good. YouTubers. Uh, so okay, thanks so much for watching, guys. If you like this sort of thing. Make sure to check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash Dota Alchemy. We've got tons of stuff on there. We're probably going to do a rework of it soon. we got like 100 coaching sessions that you can watch. We do streams uh, that are private, not the sexual kind, unless that's what you're into. Uh, for Only patrons. fans may be yeah, coming maybe soon. coming soon. Uh, but lots of good stuff on there. So give us a gander. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in another video.